Hello everyone, it's Amber Kivett. I'm here uh, doing rehab with my buddy Todd Kamek in my living room um, using the Life Pro Rumble X Max and the B3 BFR bands. Uh, Todd suffered a foot ankle injury, pretty traumatic injury, uh, three months ago and had to have a complete foot ankle reconstruction. And so we are trying to get him to where he can actually do some um, some different techniques in to where he can start jumping and landing and running. Because as soon as we can get him doing that, he gets to go back to playing basketball where he really lights up the court. So I'm gonna show you how we're using the bands and how we're using the Rumble X Max to get uh, Todd back to uh, playing and doing what he wants to do and meeting his goals because we are so close and I have some secrets on how we're gonna get there, but just wanted to show you like a typical foot ankle rehab, um, how we are progressing and what we are using the um, platform and you, you'll be able to see everything working together. So this is Todd and he's, he's, he's a hard worker. So here we go. All right, so we are going to light up the Rumble X Max. We're gonna put you on a program that uses all three of these motors to make your whole body shake like crazy because what we are finding, what we are finding is his Achilles is uh, not allowing him to move very well. Um, and so that happens over time with, uh, with scar tissue. And so you can see um, he is shaking a lot and the machine is causing 90% of his muscle fibers to contract and relax anywhere from 15 to 50 times per second depending on how compacted his uh, connective tissue and adhesions are. So what I'm going to have you do Todd is go ahead and start picking up your toes and it's his right foot ankle that we had uh, reconstructed or he had to have reconstructed with Dr. Porter with Methodist Sports, one of the absolute best in the country and um, he's ahead of schedule for rehab, so we're just tying in some extra sessions in order to get him to the finish line much faster. And so what we are working on here is getting his toes to move because in order to run, jump, and land, your big toe has to work. And if your big toe and your little toes are not accommodating the movement, then nothing else works, and we're starting to see that. So Todd, go ahead and press your toes down and so, uh, so separate and open your toes up as wide as you possibly can. And I want you to stand up just a little bit and get into a squat where you have to get, you're getting your body burning, burning, burning. Okay? And tell me what you're feeling. Just a lot of shaking and muscles reacting. And he's had a platform at home, but nothing this ag aggressive. So he's experiencing a very much more aggressive workout here right now, just standing. What's, do you feel anything burning yet? Yeah, my quads. Okay, so with the burning sensation and the B3 bands on, we're starting to ignite the human growth hormone release in, with the pituitary gland. And when that happens, it creates a much faster healing ratio on, um, on, on how his body recovers. And so that human growth hormone, it kind of speeds up healing. But we're kind of hacking into his nervous system to making sure that his body's releasing a little more than usual so that we can make the best of it. Okay, I want you to lift your toes up for me. Spread them apart as, as wide as you can. And so we're also teaching his brain to communicate more effectively with his toes, which is something you lose. Anytime you have a surgery of any type, your brain loses that, commu that communication pathway. And so we're trying to turn that back on. We're trying to turn it on into a into a level that he can control, not what his body wants to do, because his body's doing something that is not functional for him. And that's very common whenever you have surgery and rehab to follow, the body starts to develop some awkward patterns. And right now he is struggling with regular walking and jogging and jumping. And once we get that fixed, he gets to go back to his life as he loves it. Okay, try and stand as tall as you can now. Good, and I want you to, as best as you can, and I'm gonna be here to hold you if you need to, um, I want you to rock forward onto your, onto your toes. Good, I want you to hold that as long as you possibly can. What do you feel right now, other than you're like jiggling all over the place? Uh, just kind of some burning. Where do you feel the burning? Pretty much my calves. Calves, which is where we had trouble, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, rock on back. Now I want you to put, yeah, there you go. Open those toes up wide. And this goes all the way back to you doing speed training with me over the last several years. This is fundamental 
exercise patterns that we have worked over the years. So it's already in his brain. We just have to get back to it. We have to push the reboot button on the software. Okay, and go ahead and go foot flat. Spread those toes as wide as you can and get into just a small squat, very small. There you go, where you're feeling it a lot in your shins. That's where I want you to feel it. Because if you feel it in your shins, then we are lengthening the back of those legs. I'm gonna back this up so that you can see what he's doing with his whole head. Good. All right. Uh huh. What are you feeling? <laughs> it looks like you're going for a ride. Riding on a pony. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. You're doing great. I'm gonna put this weight in front of you. I'm trying to get it to stay there. Okay. And all I want you to do is reach down to touch it into a squat. Yep, use those legs. There you go. Don't knock it over though. Nice and controlled. Good. And do that a couple more times. Here. Okay, good. We like that. That means your body's adjusting. What's on fire? Uh, really just my calves pretty bad. But. Good. So we're creating some extra endurance right now. After going from being in a boot non weight bearing with cast and going through wound, wound recovery, because uh, you had some wound challenges after your surgery, which is completely normal with a complete reconstruction with plates and screws and all that fun stuff. You're doing awesome. He's, he has really had his mind uh, strong in trying to get back to right and um, having your mind in the right place uh, gives your body the ability to fight harder to come back to right when it comes to physical ability. If your mind is more depressed and you're not confident and you're not focused, um, it changes how slow or how fast the body recovers. And so he has been working really hard to keep his mind in the right place and setting goals that are challenging yet attainable. And we've had a lot of fun working on celebrating those goals as he's gotten to where he's at now. Awesome. How, is that getting any easier? Yeah. But we're still burning a lot, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. Is it easy enough you want it to be harder? Yeah. Okay. He's always a hungry one. Now go for it. Good. Okay, I'm gonna back your stool up just a tad. Go ahead and sink down as much as you can. There you go, that's it. Nice job. That should really open up those Achilles and those calves. Make those legs work really, really hard. Good. Good. We got two and a half minutes left of this. So we're gonna take that band off and we're gonna do some speed work with your feet. But although it sounds like we're working speed, we're not gonna be doing any sprints. We're just gonna turn some stuff on that you've had turned on before. It's just not, just not wanting to come back on. Good, very good. Now I want you to pause, lift your toes. Uh-huh, press your toes. Lift your toes as best as you can. Press your toes and go ahead and stand. Nice job. How'd that feel? A lot more tiring. A lot more tiring, isn't it? So we're having trouble with toes working. So we're gonna get there. And when we're on this device, we're causing 90% of your muscle fibers to work all together. Whereas in a traditional strength setting, we're only getting about 40%. Ah, oh, we're starting to fatigue really bad, aren't we? <laughs> uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. Good. I'm going to have you stay right there. Now, just to give you all an idea of what he is, what he is uh, looking like from my viewpoint, I want you to see how much his body is shaking. And he's not doing that voluntarily. He's... <laughs> This is, this is all happening because of this machine. There's three motors working, manipulating his connective tissue. And so we have uh, had him trying to do different stretches, but this is kind of creating a gentle earthquake, blasting apart all of the stuff that's not working, that's working against him. And there's his foot ankle area. You can see how much it's really working. And so everybody's been asking me, how on earth have you been able to lose 46 pounds without doing any exercise? Well, if you can see how much he's shaking, you kind of got to shake up the junk in the trunk in order to get it to be mobile. And that's all I've done. Just standing on this device and doing some exercises. And that's how easy it works. And if you're interested in the B3 bands, those are the BFR, the blood flow resistance bands, you can click on the link below the show and it will tell you, um, it'll give you the webinar that I did last Wednesday and you can learn more about how those work. But if you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to improve um, in um, you know, your strength or you're trying to slow down aging, you're trying to reverse the aging process, um, it makes a huge difference in how the body responds to stress. Okay, now. This is the fun part. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna deflate in here. Good. You don't have control now, do you? Where your body still wants to move, right? Yeah. Isn't that fun? Okay, go ahead and take your hands up for me. So he's been using these at home. Um, he has a set of these of his own. And he has a platform that I have loaned him over the last three months that he's been doing this on regularly. His platform's not nearly as aggressive as this one. This one's the best of the best. Okay, now you guys are gonna get the absolute uh, response. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you off. Okay, now feel the floor, feel the floor. Just feel the floor. Don't, don't trip over any cords. Okay, now go for a walk as best as you know how. Okay, and coming back around. And what's really cool, you guys, you guys are seeing this roll. Like, he could not walk into this area without a limp. And he's walking way better than where we started. What do you feel? Foot feels a lot looser and his muscles relaxed. Good. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go over to that chair. This is like, this is going to be the magic you guys are going to witness because I know what's coming. He doesn't know what's coming, but I know what's coming. And I want you to stand um, to the side of that chair and hold on to the chair. And I want you to stand up onto the balls of your feet. Get up onto your toes. Yeah. Look at that. Come back down. Pop back up. And back down. I want you to relax your left knee. You're really guarded on your left side. Just let everything work together. Pop back up. Yes. How's that feel? A lot better than before. Have you been able to do that? No. I think you mentioned to mom earlier this week that you had to get some magic when you came out here tonight because you've been seeing yeah. a physical therapist how many days? Uh, twice a week. Twice a week? Yeah. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. Now, unlock your left knee. Don't compensate that left hip. There you go. This is way cool. Okay, now, I'm going to throw you for a loop. Okay. okay, you ready? Come on over here. We're in my living room, just so you all know. Back it up a little bit. Back it up. Okay, I want you to squat down. Get down into a squat just as you know how. Good. And stand back up. Now, you've been doing a little bit of jogging on the treadmill, right? Yeah. Have you done any jump training or any light plyos? No, not really. But we know that you have, jog we know that you have jogged. So jogging is plyometric loading from one foot to the next, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all I want you to do, little baby squat. Just a little baby right there. Now give a, give a little lift off. So you're going up for a rebound? Don't be afraid. 
Don't be afraid. Yes. Okay. Now try and lo try and land a little softer. So you're gonna land on the balls of your feet. That's that's it. Yes. Exactly like that. Just let your body learn, and you're doing great. Okay. Good. Keep working it. Okay. And if you can, if you guys can all see, he's very guarded, and it's not he's not guarded because he's afraid he's gonna fall. The sensitivity of the nerves in his feet are so hypersensitive right now that his brain is trying to figure out what the heck is happening. <laughs> and you're seeing his response as to how he is learning how to feel again because he hasn't felt this in like three months. And he's feeling it right now for the first time. Good, try not to land flat. Land a little softer. Good, good, there it is, yay. How's that feel? A lot better. I can actually do it now a little bit. Good. You're starting to land, uh, land flat on, on your other foot. <laughs> yes, awesome. All right, we're gonna give Todd a break from the camera um, because he volunteered to let me record him. So I'm going to go back to doing some one-on-one -on -one with him and working his mind and um, doing some more magic, some acupuncture and some cupping, and we're gonna get him moving to where he can go and do what he loves to do. So thank you all so much for watching and um, look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Have a good day.